should have saved this for winter. It's kind of a hot day today, isn't it? It's kind of a hot day today, isn't it? So today is all about subarctic uh, science. But before, that, uh, but before we get to that, Simon, you have some announcements. Um, the winners from last, the winners from last week will receive a prize from the Cinnaborn Park Zoo. The winners are Joseph from Churchill, Cameron and Caden from Swamp Rill River. This week's prizes are from Polar Bears International. A special event tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central with Polar Bears International. And we are going to try and trick the Arctic scientists with some hard questions. So tomorrow, That's right. So tomorrow, special event with Polar Bears International. And today, to get ready for that, is all about Arctic science. All right. So, um, you have some facts about the Arctic. No way. That's all on you. So you can oh, pass me the announcements page. Yeah, there we go. What are some of your facts about the Arctic? Manitoba is an ocean club. Oh, what ocean? Arctic Ocean. Yes, the Arctic Ocean. Where is the Arctic Ocean in Manitoba? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it is. Um, Arctic means bear in Greek. Arctos. Arctos is the Greek word for bear. Very cool. Is it Arctos or Arctos? Well, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. If anyone who's watching is Greek, maybe you can help us with the pronunciation. Who lives at the North Pole? Yep. Yep. Temperatures are as low as minus 70 Celsius. Yep. Yep. That's cold. That's very cold. And of course, I don't know if you know this, but I don't know the the top of the Narwhal. Narwhals live, narwhals in, the live in the Arctic. Yeah, narwhals live in the Arctic. I have never seen a narwhal. You have. A real one? You have seen a real one. Oh. You have seen real ones on the computer. Oh, that is true. Um, so we have a hello to Liam, who's watching. Liam, let us know where you're from. Uh, we've, we've also got Joseph. We've got uh, um, Lucy and Edward. And let us know who else is watching so Simon can say a nice big hello. And while we're waiting for that, do you have a joke for us? Okay, nice and loud. What do you call penguins? I mean, what do you call 50 penguins in the Arctic? I don't know, Simon. What do you call 50 penguins in the Arctic? What? What? Where do they live? They live in Antarctica. Oh, oh, yes. Do polar ants live there? Polar ants? They must. Antarctica? <laughs> Good one. Do you want to do another joke or do you want to wait until after? What did the ocean say to the iceberg? Iceberg. What did the ocean say to the What did the ocean say to the iceberg? Um, nothing. It's just waves. Oh. And uh, Liam is with us all the way from Thompson. Yeah, you've been to Thompson before. It was a little while ago. You might not remember. Oh, wait, that's where we caught the train to Churchill, was in Thompson. So you were there not that long ago. All right. We, yeah, it was just last year. Um, we also have uh, Connor and Logan and Iris joined us too. Okay. Uh, do you want to tell one more joke before we get into our Arctic science? You only have three jokes. All right. Well, what's one more? The last. What do Arctic hairs use to keep their fur looking good? What do Arctic hairs use to keep their fur looking good? I don't know. 
hairspray. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Pretty good. I like it. Pretty good. I like okay, it. So today okay, so today we wanted to talk about subarctic science. Even though it's a very, very, very hot day where we are, it's very, very cold in the cold waters in the north, even in the summertime. So how do some... Cold water in the summertime here. That is true. There's cold water here. Oh, oh, yes, we've got some cold water there, and we're going to get to that activity shortly. But first, Simon has something to show everyone. How do polar bears keep warm? They have an 11 centimeter um, layer of fat. 11 centimeter layer, 11 centimeter layer of fat. Can you show me what 11 centimeters looks like? This. Let's see, hold it up. So what would that mean if you're a polar bear? That, um... Like, just take your arm for an example, and then take 11 centimeters, then scale it to your arm. That's how big you'll be. Oh, and is it on just one side? Oh, and is it on just one side? Nope. Can you show All us the way around? Can you show us what that would look like? 11 centimeters all the way around. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we've got Bond joining us today. Hopefully he doesn't get too crazy. <laughs> so what other animals have uh, large layers of fat? What other animals have large layers of fat? What? Belugas. How much fat do belugas have? 27 centimeters. Ooh, can you show us what that looks like? Can you show us what that looks like? This, but same with the polar bear. 27 centimeters of fat. Show me. I can't quite see. Hold it up. There we go. And that's all the way around, right? Not just on one side. So my arm would probably... Then my arm will just be the top of this all the way around. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Um, we have a hello from Toby and her family uh, from Norway House. You've also been to Norway House. But you were quite little. So that's pretty cool. So belugas have 27 centimeters of fat and polar bears have 11 centimeters of fat. Um, you also have a book beside you. How come you have this book? Yeah. How come you have this book? Sharks. My animal favorite shark. Ooh, what is your favorite animal? Sharks. Sorry, what is your favorite type of shark? Um, my favorite type of shark is the mako shark. Um, yeah. Um, you did a school project on a shark. Which, which shark? Which, which shark? I didn't find any books. On the mako shark, but I did find a book on the Greenland shark, so that's what I and really did cool instead. And what's really cool about the Greenland shark? Well, I have it because I'm a scientist because Greenland sharks um, live in cold waters. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. In really cold waters, in the deep, deep water, they prefer the deepest, coldest water. Wait, I think it was 1,700 miles deep. Wow, it might be meters, not miles. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't, I don't know. So Liam's favorite animal, it looks like it's a monkey. And Elisa, Lucy, and Edward are also talking about um, seals and how seals have thick layers of fat as well. So maybe one of our friends at home can tell us how thick is seal fat because that's something we didn't look up. All right, so Simon, here's our activity for today. You have a very cold bowl of water, ice water. Oh yeah, well that's ice water. And what are we going to do with this bowl of ice water? Um, yeah, what are we testing? Yeah, what are we testing? 
Yes. 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 And now I think it's going to go really Oh, wow. Let's do this part first. So we've got a, a cold bowl of ice water. Not yet, Simon. We're going to have our audience. We're going to have our audience predict how long can Simon keep his hand in this bowl of ice water? I think it's about less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds? If it were me, I think it would be less than 10 seconds. Okay, so are we ready to give it a try? Okay, so put down your ribbon. Everyone in our audience, how long, how many seconds can Simon keep his hand in the bowl of ice water? Now, we have to think about safety. You're not keeping it in just to prove a point. You're keeping it in until you feel uncomfortable and then you're taking it out. And then we're going to dry it off on this towel right here. So, oh, okay, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think you lasted longer than I would have. We had some predictions of 20 seconds, 10 seconds. We had a prediction of five minutes and Theo predicted 30 seconds. How many seconds was it? 11 seconds. Yep, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. How's your, how's your hand doing now? Okay, so we're going to try to figure out how different Arctic animals stay warm. So they, so we have some chaos going on with our dog, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put your hand in a protective layer, a bag, and see if that changes things at all. Here you go. So we're going to have one protective layer and everyone can predict again how many seconds can your hand last in water with this small protective layer of plastic. Okay, are you ready to go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But I notice your hand isn't really all the way in. I know. You're done? Okay, yeah, that was about 25 seconds. So you did last a little bit longer with that little bit of protection. Yeah, that's right. Some of our predictions were uh, 22 seconds, 10 seconds, 18, and 15 seconds as well. 22 was the closest. 22 was the closest. Now we have, now we can reveal the bags. Okay, we have this one. You can tell everyone what's in this bag. They could probably already tell. What is it? Yes, it's a towel. And you can tell everyone what's in this bag. Grass, which I don't think will work very well. You don't think will work very well to put your hand in grass? But at least it smells good. Yeah. And we also have a bag of? That, which I don't really want to do. Okay, so a bag of fat. Like okay, so that's just like the polar bear and the beluga and the seal. A whole bunch of fat for a fat layer. And we're going to see which one makes the best insulator out of the three. Sometimes fat can be orange, yeah. So well, let's have our audience predict. Out of our three bags, we have a towel, grass, and some fat. Which feels like almost fully melted ice cream. It, yeah, it does. That's right. So let's let everyone predict which one will make the best insulator. That's what your prediction. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think that, Simon? Ooh, I like the way your your reasoning there. So um, we do. Yeah. Um, Camille says fat. That's their prediction at the Wilson household. All right, which one would you like to try first? All right, which one would you like to try first? Grass or towel? Okay. Um, Elisa, in their household in Ericsdale, they are predicting fat as well. 
That is probably okay. So you are keeping, okay. so you are keeping so like the towel you're keeping the towel in plastic, so that's not getting wet, right? So it's a little bit different. We don't have the cold water seeping in. We're just seeing if it helps. <laughs> Go. What? Two. Four. We have a big hello from one of my favorite teachers in all of Frontier School Division, Bill Taylor, who works in Cranberry Portage. Where's the soda can that we're keeping with the it on the hood plastic? 14, 15, 16. We have another prediction of either the fat or grass will be the best insulator. Snore, 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 22. 23, 24. So you've already surpassed. Okay, we're now at about 35. So Simon, Simon, <laughs> you are pretty comfortable there. You, do you feel it a little bit? So how okay, so how long do you think your hand would last in this cold water? You think you could keep it in there forever? And you'd still be okay? All right, so let's see, let's pull that one out. So we know that that one worked pretty well and you lasted already about a minute. Let's see what happens with the grass layer. Go ahead. I don't feel like grass is still, I still don't feel like grass. So try to put your hand right in the middle. Hopefully the dog did not pee in this grass. There we go. Okay, so don't let anything get in there. One, two, three, all the way in. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 18, 19, 20. So it's already been 20 seconds. How's your hand feeling? Do you think that grass is better or worse than the cloth so far? So far, not as good. Okay. 31, 32, 33, 34. I got to get it right in there. 36. Getting jiggy with it. 41, 42, 43. I wish I could get my iPad and turn on and get jiggy with it. Is that your favorite new song? Is that your favorite new song? No. Okay. Because of Will Smith. Oh, because of Will Smith. Oh, because of Will Smith. Yeah. Do you want to tell everyone about who Will Smith is? Um, he was in the movie Spies in Disguise and. Um, the show One Strange Rock, and he made the song. And he was Jiggy also French. And he was also French Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Will Smith is a pretty cool guy. Oh, and he made another movie, but I don't know the name. Mm, he's made lots. He's quite famous. But the way you were introduced to him was with One Strange Rock. Okay, so Simon, it's been a couple minutes now. You still doing all right? So now do you think that towel or grass is a better insulator? It's towel, but as soon as I reached one minute, you told me to get out, so I did it. That's right, because we weren't going to time it all the way through. We just wanted to see how your hand was feeling. Are you cold at all? Are you cold at all? Hmm, so grass makes a pretty good insulator. Towel and grass are tied. Okay. So now here comes the big one. Can I put another bag on top of You bet you can. So there's two reasons why we're going to put a bag over your hand. Yeah, one because you don't want to feel all of that. Um, we used margarine, but it, which is a type of oil. Um, so we're going to use that as a sample of fat. You could use lard, butter, anything you like. But we also don't want to waste it because this is something we can use. So if we put your hand in a bag as well, then it will protect that. 
so that we don't waste it. That's right. So we're not going to time this one in the way of seeing how long you can last in the water. Instead, we're just going to see how your hand feels after about a minute. So try to get all that fat all the way around your hand. Keep your hand flat, not in a fist. Smells bad. Okay, we'll try to get a nice layer all around your hand. You think it's good? <laughs> all right, there we go. Do you? Maybe we didn't have the fat in an even layer around. Yeah, so that's the thing with experiments. We have to make sure that we control all of the variables. So if we missed a spot on Simon's hand with the fat, then he'll feel cold faster. Okay. Okay, try to get comfortable. Oh, okay. So we had a question. How does it smell? Does it smell like anything you've smelled before? Oh. I, we couldn't understand you. But what does it smell like? Oh my goodness, rotten milk okay, mixed with so cheese. We'll, we'll okay, so we'll we'll move our our bag of fat over so Simon doesn't have to smell it anymore. Now, Simon, you took your hand out quite early with that one. Do you think we missed a spot in layering your hand? Well, why would why would that happen though? Because that's the fat layer. Why would your hand get extra cold? What do you think? Well, it's a type of fat. So it's not lard. Lard would be the purest form of fat that you can use for this activity. Well. Yeah, so that's a really good reminder to everyone and to us as well that we have to make sure that we have all variables the same. So like we don't miss a spot in the insulation. Here's a possibility. Yeah. But this might be confusing. Okay. Maybe fat only works on the inside of your body, like your own fat inside of your body to obtain your body heat. Right. And the fat outside your body doesn't help yeah, with that. Like yeah, that's a neat theory. I like it. Or uh, maybe just, or maybe cold air. Yeah. Just came up. That's another possibility. That's another possibility that maybe we had a leak in one of the bags. So far, you bet. So no, far. I mean like, um, like the cold air coming from there. Um, went up and then came into the bag. So. Yep, that so could have happened. Have sure that so we always have to make sure that we check our variables to do the most accurate test that we can. And you're right. So our friends at home can try this activity and they can try different types of insulation and actually time it all the way through. So we just showed a quick example, but our friends at home can time it all the way through. Um, so that's what we would like you to post as your challenge. Try this activity. You can do it with one or two or as many as you like types of insulation. That's right. So try this out, time it all the way through and see how long you last with different types of insulation including if you can a layer of some type of fat all right so simon just as a reminder before we go what are our special announcements um for today oh we've got a distraction of, a, of our puppy here <laughs> okay simon what are the special announcements for today Yeah, we're just going to do it one more time. Winners from last week will receive a prize from the Sinahoy 
Park is him. And they're Joseph from Churchill, Cameron and Caden from Swan River. This week's prizes are from Polar Bears International. But we will be doing a good job with them tomorrow. And special event tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central with Polar Bears International. Which I just said. Our donations are right. And we are going to try to trick. That's right. So we hope to see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central. Yeah, I think Bon wants to say hi. Um, and we hope to see everyone then. Be sure to post um, your participation in the activities. Complete today's challenge so that you can win a prize from Polar Bears International. I think Bond likes it too. Bye, everybody. Hopefully you can get some Polar Bears. Bye.